Okay, you guys ready to do this? Huh, I'm ready to do this. Yeah, I can't believe we're doing this video at the end of the month. I can't believe it. What were you thinking, Great, telling us that we need to do this video within the month? We're going to get you. Yeah, you better watch out. You're done, buddy. Huh. Okay, so here's the thing. <clears throat> On March 9th, 1959, the iconic Barbie doll was unveiled to Will. I mean, just look at her. <laughs> With that black and white striped swimsuit, nice blonde hair tied back, looking all iconic. I know, just, just, just look at her. Isn't she great? Yeah, but uh, <laughs> that wasn't the end of that story. Well, <laughs> Barbie wasn't alone in her world of fashion and glamour. Oh, no, no, no because she's got the following people on her side her boyfriend ken the perpetual boyfriend ken mind you and then her best friend mitch <laughs> and then ken had a friend named alan and he and mitch were always going out and then barbie had a little sister called skipper yeah and then don't forget her cool cousin francine who was part of that mod scene <laughs> but little did anybody know that Mattel was going to do a very bold move with Francine and her mod scene. Hmm. And I think there was also PJ and Casey, but, uh, hey, it's Francine who we got to be concentrating on because she did something that was pretty big. In 1967, Mattel released a darker version of Francine trying to attract a wider audience. You know what they say, Barbie says you could do anything or be anything but actually the thing is always be evolving because that's what barbie did evolve but that darker francine no it did not work mm -mm. well hey back then we had the civil rights movement going on and everybody's wanting diversity so guess what mattel decided to take this darker version of francine and make it better by introducing the world to christy Ding, 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 ding. Yep, Christy, the black Barbie doll who is Barbie's friend. <laughs> and that worked. Yay! But that story wasn't done yet. With the successful debut of Christy as Barbie's first black friend, <laughs> they it, it was seen as a good thing. Because not only did Mattel prove to the world that Barbie is inclusive they are inclusive for all the right reasons well you know what they say barbie always be evolving and in the 70s though look the 70s happened things change barbie changed along with it and christy participated in a lot of fun things but hey little did they know that the next big thing in Christie's story was just around the corner. In 1980, Mattel gave us the first true black Barbie doll. It brought joy and excitement to the world. Hooray! So, with that, Barbie couldn't just be seen as the white girl anymore. No. They, when they called their next black doll Barbie, hey, it was a huge shift. And not only in terms of toys, but diversity and representation are also valued. Not content to rest on their laurels, Mattel decided they really wanted to amp up their product line by introducing black dolls to the lineup, Tr trying to cater to that inclusive audience. Sometimes it worked, other times they missed the mark. But no matter, no matter what, <laughs> Battelle continues to evolve the Barbie brand, and not just the Barbie brand, but the fashion doll brand as well. Well, during the 90s, Christy continued to be popular. Yep as the Barbie brand continued to evolve. Yeah, but around the 2010s, <laughs> Christy ended up fading away. Aww. And in her place, the Barbie, the black Barbie, <laughs> mind you, <laughs> took her place. 
But no matter what they say, no matter how things went, Christy could not be ignored. <laughs> not when it led to what we have today. In short, <laughs> Christy walked so that all the black dolls of today could run. Which is a good thing. And Barbie walked so that Christy could run. <laughs> yep. And of course, last year, <laughs> we had the 55th anniversary of the debut of the Christy doll. Yep. If it wasn't for Mattel taking a bold risk, we wouldn't have the dolls we had today. So, cheers to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, wait. Hold up. This report isn't even due till March? Ah. <sighs> That's it. Gray, you better start running because we're coming for you, buddy. And other than that, if you guys managed to sit through this poorly made video, thanks for watching. And uh, subscribe for more because more will come.